If you check through some of the heating safe features on our website, you'll notice that one of the things that uh, we talk about is flow and return uh, balancing. And um, we explain this. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about it and, and what our thinking is on that. If you have a large boiler, a boiler that's a bit oversized for the building that you're trying to heat, there's a danger that the boiler can create more heat output than the pipework and the pumps etc can get into the building. Now when you do this what happens is you'll find that the flow temperature um, which should always be in front of the return temperature that comes very close to the return or the return comes close to the flow if you like. And what that means then is that the boiler still hasn't got up to temperature but clearly what's happening is the heat is not really getting outside the boiler and into the, into the pipework. And so the heat, the heat exchanger inside the boiler becomes pretty well ineffective and the heat's just going straight out the chimney. And it's not particularly efficient. So what we do in heating save is when the boiler is fired up, and this is very typically uh, first thing in the morning when the boiler's cold, is that we're watching the rising flow temperature and the rising return temperature. And if there's not a differential between them, we shut the boiler off. We leave the pumps on, the valves open. This then allows the differential between the flow and return to re-establish itself. And then we turn the boiler back on in relatively small cycles. This saves fuel and also heats the building efficiently. Now you might think to yourself, well, why on earth would somebody put in a boiler uh, larger than is necessary for the building. Well, I can give you a good reason and a bad reason. Uh, the good reason is, is that when the heating engineer first sized up uh, the building, he wanted to make sure that that boiler was good enough for the coldest day in history ever. And so he had to make sure that that boiler had the thermal output that would work. Uh, there is a, a more cynical reason as well, and that is, which is not the good reason, uh, is that uh, big boilers cost more than small boilers, so there's probably little incentive for that heating engineer to install, install a small boiler. But uh, if you have that situation where you have a, a large boiler, uh, or boilers too large for the building, then uh, heating safe will manage that more efficiently.